Islam misunderstand what Christians believe. So if that is the case, so hold on a minute. So hold on a minute. So hold on a minute. The word I'm talking about. 50 Christian scholars agree that this is word okay, should never be there. Okay, question. Do you reject this yes. word? This. Do you reject begotten? This. Okay. That's what I'm saying. This word, so, begotten, should never be there. It shouldn't be there. So yeah. you follow the Christian scholars, 50 of them, who tell you the word begotten isn't I mean, supposed to be there. Sir, sir, so you've wait, got 50 wait, names. You've got 50 names who tells you word begotten shouldn't be there. Can you please give us the names? No, he didn't say that. You said, he didn't say that. You said you have 50 names. He said 50 names. So, give us, give us 10, 10 of them. Give me the 10 of them. Give me the, okay, so, you don't know. That's fine, Abdullah. This word should not be there. Sir, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. So, since you don't know, since you cannot give me the name, and you will you will check it out and bring it next week, that's fine. But next week if you don't bring it up, I will when I see you next time, I will point you out as a part of Islamic Dawatim who practice Takiya at Speaker's Corner. So let me just make my point. So what I'm saying is that Christians, let me make my point. Christians never believed, never, ever, and ever. When we, we make a claim, Jesus is the son of God, we never said because God had sex with a woman, they produced baby. That goes again. I don't, so who do you think you are? You are telling me what I should believe or what I believe. Who do you think you are? You are insulting God. You are insulting God while you telling me that's what I believe. I already told you, Abdullah, I do not believe that. When I say Jesus is the Son of God, let me tell you, let me tell you why I, why I believe that. I'm going to comment on that. I'm going to comment on that. I am going to comment on that. So, when Christians, when Christians says Jesus is the Son of God, we are saying Christians believe in one God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the eternal Son of God. He is, he is. Why are you not allowed me to speak, sir? You lied about my scripture, and now you are not allowed me to speak. Please, please, don't do that. How would I listen to paganism idea? How you can listen to paganism? I am Christian. According to your scripture, I'm not pagan. You can you cannot marry the pagans. No, I don't believe in three gods. I already told you, I believe in one God. How much is that? Identified as the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Three persons in one God. Everyone, everyone can count on that. It's very good mathematics. Here's the, my problem. Here's the, my problem. I believe Jesus is the Son of God because God looks at down to Jesus and then says, You are my son. I love you. I am well pleased with you. God identifies Jesus as his son. As his son. I haven't finished. Well, okay. I haven't now, finished. Now, no, no, no. As a Christian, I believe Jesus is the son of God because Jesus identified himself as the son of God. He talks to God as my father. Second reason. Third reason I believe Jesus is the son of God because disciple of Jesus, his friends, they call Jesus, you are the son of God. Fourth reason I believe Jesus is the son of God. That is the reason, according to John chapter 19, he was killed because he made the claim that he is the son of God. Fifth reason I believe now Jesus is the son of God. Okay, okay, okay. I haven't finished. Right. I haven't finished. Fifth reason I believe Jesus is the son of God, because my scripture screams out he is the son of God. In a sense, he is equal to the God. Let me read you the verse and then I'll give you time to respond. I'm going to give you time to respond, sir. So Jesus is talking to the Jewish people, okay? John chapter 5. 
If you haven't memorized the Bible, listen carefully. So, because Jesus was doing these things on the Sabbath, okay? People don't work on Sabbath, but Jesus is doing some things on Sabbath. The Jews persecuted him. Jesus was doing things on the Sabbath. Okay, that's the time. I have, I have, I haven't finished. Let me read the verse. Let me read the verse. Be patient, be patient, The Jews persecuted him. Jews who studied the Old Old Testament. Okay, remember that. Jesus said to them, "My father." Okay, not my prophet, not my mother, but my father is always at work to this very day and i too i am working for this reason the jews tried all the harder to kill him not only was because he was breaking the sabbath but he was even calling god his own father making himself equal to the god jewish people wants to kill him because jesus is calling god my father and with that claim i am still speaking you will know when i finish because when i finish there will be god I, i will give you time to respond i'm gonna give you time to speak not only was he breaking the sabbath but he was calling god his own father making himself a call with god jesus making a claim i am the son of god jesus is making a claim jewish understanding he is making himself equal to the god so can you just tell me he's making himself equal to can you just tell me i respond what christians understand about the son of god can you please tell me why in your this mind you got billions of brain cells why did you come up the idea god had a sex with with someone and they produced baby jesus good question Address the passage that she said, though. No, 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 we're, we're going back to so the same word. How about thinking of that passage? John, John 3, 16, I'm still on that one. The definition of beget means to bring a child into existence by process of reproduction. So everybody who knows... That what, is what, a uh, Hold on. Uh, uh, well, you're, we're going to be honest. I'll talk to her. We're going to be honest. Her, no, well, you jumped in. We've got to be honest. Yeah, no, you see, this listen. is what Islam teaches you. Yeah, this is, this is what Islam teaches you. Yeah, yeah, I gave you the definition. I gave you the definition. Yeah, no, exactly. Why are you exactly. getting? You give me a time. Yes, so you time. turn your back on me, and I'm, yes. teach it. I'm teaching you, my friend. You can't teach me. Yes, I am you teaching you, teach because that's the translation for today. I'm speaking to you. In the old days, what's the translation? What's it called? We get. Hello. I mean, what? Hello. Coming from? Yes. Of you. Hello. Of you. Of you. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. He said it's coming from. Let's go to the Greek. Of you. I've been actually doing my research right now. Let's go to the Greek. And is this going to change our lives? Is this going to change our lives? We just need to talk. If you're here to hold oh, go, 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 to Hebrew. Go to, go to the Greek then. No, no, yeah, Hebrew. I'm proving my point. Go to Hebrew. Go to the Greek. You said you're going to go to the Greek. Can I use the Bible? Go to the Greek. Yeah, I'm, 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 or do you, do you agree? Finish your point, bro. Don't show up. King James Bible. By the faith of Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he had received the promises offered up to his only begotten son. Now let's go to the Greek here. If, Ab if Isaac's the begotten son of Abraham, what does that mean? How did Abraham have Isaac? How did, you, how did you have it? With another woman in it? Okay, so let's go to the same word begotten and see if it's the same one in 316. And we'll see if it's sexual or if it's brought forth as they claim. Right, go on, go on. Before Christmas. <laughs> in the Hebrews. Wait, wait, wait.
What does that, you to, what does that say for the camera? Read, 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 read. What does that say? So you know the verse. It's the verse with Dino. What, what does that word say? Monogena. Monogena. What, what? That's, and what, what chapter is this? Sorry, you, you can speak. Just yeah, make your point. 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 Make your Monogenim Isaac, well, just like God, monogenim Jesus. So what do we conclude from that? What do we conclude? The word is the same. What do we conclude? And the meaning is the same. Thank you. Is that my case? So God had a sex reproduction to Jesus. The case to be clear. Shame on you! Shame on you! As a Muslim, you come to speak in school now, you come to speak in school now, and you tell me what I believe. Shame on you! You come to speak in school now, and you tell me what I believe. What I believe about if God had a sex with someone or not. I already told you, yeah. my scripture doesn't teach me that, sir. You've got to move on. I know, I know Islam fails to understand what I believe. That's right. I know have, Holy, have the Ruh of Allah, yes. who appeared as a perfect man, entered the vagina of Mary. I know from that, from Islamic scripture. But that's not what I believe. Just what do you mean have some respect? We're going to debunk, we're going to debunk this, man. That's because Allah needs to have sex to have a son. Carry on, man, carry on. Allah needs to have sex to have a son. So, according to, according to Islamic teachings, yeah. I told you as a Christian what I believe. I told you, and then we had a Greek speaker who told us, who told us, what is the no, meaning of that word in Greek? And then we already established that as the unique. And I already told you, none of the Christians believe God had a sex with someone and they produce baby Jesus because my scripture does not teach that, sir. But can you just tell me why Islamic scripture? Of course we are not moving on. Surah, Surah 19. I am sticking to the point. I am sticking to the point. And I want you to answer. I am responding. 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 I already told you what is the Son of God means. So, Isaac. Go to the Quran that you So. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! So Surah 19 tells us, Ruh of Allah can do something Allah cannot do. Okay? Ruh of Allah appears as a perfect man. What is the shape of the per perfect man? Jason cannot be perfect man. He doesn't have the six packs. He, he's shorter. Okay? Perfect man. Perfect man. Perfect man. I am, I am responding. I am responding. So, Surah 19 tells us, Ruh of Allah, Spirit of Allah, can do something Allah fails to do. Becomes a perfect man and reveals himself to Mary. I, I am responding. No, I am responding. Topic now. Oh, responding. I am telling you. Why don't you stay on the topic now? I am on the topic and I am telling you. I am telling you. Now the I am answering. In the Bible, he showed yes. you yes. the word begotten. Yes. You didn't answer. Listen, the, open the ears. So, why you come up with that idea? Because Muslim Islam teaches, Ruh of Allah appears as a perfect man, and in Surah 66, verse 12, let's hear what the Ruh of Allah does. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, I'm not even going to talk about the historical mistakes over there, who guarded her Farj. You know what is Farj in Arabic, sir? Yes, you do. You do. I know what it is, private part of woman. So, we blew, blow into true, into true our angel. Okay, that's Ruh actually. And she believed in the words of her Lord and his scripture. 
Muslims understand Christians believe Jesus is the Son of God because they're a sexual relationship. Like the Bible says. But that comes from the Quran. Like the Bible says. Surah 66, like verse 12 tells us who of Allah enters the private part of Mary and makes her pregnant. Therefore, Mary gives birth to the Son of God. I don't believe that. I think that is disgusting. Another thing Islam teaches. Can you just tell me? Can you just tell me why Allah is doing such a disgusting thing to woman, his creature, through his roof? How come I can only have a son if he has a wife? Can you read this verse for me again? Stick on the point. Hebrews 11, 17. Christians, I, I ask you not to check this. Hebrews 17, Hebrews 11, 17. King James Version. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he had received the promises offered up to his only begotten son. Abraham had a begotten son called Isaac, according to the Bible. So now when we use the Greek word... Have you noticed it's not Ishmael? Thank you for confirming now, that. Now we, according to the Bible. No, Ishmael. Now it's not go, Ishmael. Now we, no go to the, Ishmael. now we go to the Greek word. The gospel hadith. Now we go to the Greek word. What says... Yeah, get, get, get like, get like. Monogene. Monogene is the same word used in John 3, 16, when God said, for he loved the world that he ate, he gave his only begotten son. So now I ask this lady here, what does the word begotten mean? It's first of it, all, monogene means only begotten. Okay, same only thing. Begotten. It's not the same thing, sir. Same thing. Okay, don't, thing. don't twist the scripture. On so, the day of judgment, okay, okay. you are going to be accountable for the lies you are telling. Okay, so is, is Isaac the only begotten son of Abraham? Ishmael is not the son of so Abraham, Isaac, yes. Isaac, the only begotten son of Abraham, yeah, yes or no? Yeah. How did Abraham have Isaac? How he, was the production, the reproduction, how was it? My scripture doesn't give me right to come to... No, no, no. no I, I haven't finished. I, you asked me a question. Yeah. When you it's do yes not let me to yes speak, no. No. it already shows you are representing okay, me. Okay, I, I accept your apologies. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please do not repeat that. So, Christian scripture te teaches Jesus is only begotten son of God, not in a sense, not in a sense, in a sexual context. Please move your head Street, around Street. that. Okay, I've, so, got, I've got the idea. So, go so, so let, now what do you understand from Hebrews 17? I'm responding. You're responding so you are not allowing me to respond. No, that very, doesn't help you. I ask the question. I ask you, is Isaac the only begotten son of Abraham? Let me respond. The question is, is the Isaac only begotten son of Abraham? Yeah. If my answer is yes, yeah. that already proves Islam is false religion. That already proves Guys, Muhammad is false prophet. Because according to the Islamic tradition, Ishmael is Ishmael, supposed to be in the picture. Why will you discredit Ishmael? So I already told you, I already told you, John 3 16. What the phrase is used, and then Greek Greek person pronounced that, and then we already come to the conclusion. That means you need that doesn't mean that doesn't mean and it never meant in a sexual sense can you justify for me surah 66 verse 12. okay i think we've established okay, you got, i think you, i think, you we, I think we established the truth you know when truth comes full to the perish and ask the christians to actually since they look into it she's got it up on her phone she can't answer it because the evidence is clear it gives you john 3 16 hebrew 70 and other verses that establish that monogene means only begotten reproduction sexual Case is done. I've Thank got I've got the Bible here. It doesn't state it doesn't state that in a sexual sense. As I said, Christians never believe that. But Muslims come up with that claim because Quran teaches Jesus is the physical son of God when the Ruh of Allah entered in the vagina of Mary. And Islamic scripture again teaches. Jesus cannot be son of God because Allah doesn't have a girlfriend. I can't do that much about if Allah is not attractive. I can't do, I can't do anything about it. But Islamic Dawatim needs to learn what Christians believe and they should engage us in a that way, not the lies Islam has been telling them. That's right.